X11 has been around since 1984, and has been around on Linux since a little bit after the beginning, around 1992 or so, and during this time, countless desktops have been created. Obviously, there is the ever-popular GNOME and KDE, but there's also less popular DEs like Trinity, like Cinnamon, like Budgie, and a ton of others. But the window manager space has so many options that you realistically cannot try all of them. You have really popular options like i3, BSPWM, AwesomeWM, DWM, Qtile. But for the less popular options, I could be listing things out all day. There's JWM, TWM, XDM, IceWM, FVWM, Herbs LuftWM, and so many more. Honestly, just looking at FVWM and all of the projects that spawned off of it gives you enough to talk about. And even for a project like FVWM or TWM, I guarantee there is at least one person out there making use of this on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, whilst I am quite excited for the shift over to Wayland, and right now, I am currently running Hyperland. I do acknowledge a really uncomfortable truth about doing this. Many of these projects are never going to follow along to Wayland. Some of these projects were effectively abandoned years ago, or they're in some form of maintenance mode. Many others are still being developed, but have really small teams, maybe even just a single person working on it, and those teams or that single person don't have the knowledge or the time to write a Wayland compositor. And most X11 window managers with any sort of user base have some form of Wayland issue open. For example, here is an issue from AwesomeWM in 2015. This one was closed quite a while ago. Wayland support of Awesome. As X will be discarded in short time by Fedora and Ubuntu. <laughs> Little bit preemptive there. Uh, Gnome and KDE, etc. being directly compatible with Wayland or Mer. I mean, Mer was a while ago as well. Even with E19 released, the Enlightenment Window Manager also directly supports Wayland. Is there any plan slash roadmap for awesome porting to Wayland? BSPWM on Wayland. I'm a bit curious what your thoughts are on Wayland, and if you'd be willing to consider porting slash rewriting BSPWM for Wayland. Also, 2015. 2016, Wayland support, Herbs Luft WM. Is there any chance of Wayland support in the future? X is old and supposedly slow. Yeah, it's a little bit slow. And it has some issues on newer systems. Wayland is supposed to fix the issues X has and is made for the current era. Definitely is not made for the current era back in 2016. It'll also fix the tearing issues X has out of the box. Ice WM, Wayland support. No description provided. JWM, Wayland support falling back to X11 will be a neat feature, since development seems to be going that way, will improve graphic performance and even get some devs contributing back to your project and more people getting their eyes on JWM. Not a lot of WM supported. This was even earlier in 2014. Now for the most part, these issues boil down into one of two paths. One, the dev has no interest in supporting it, and basically instantly gets marked as won't fix. The other path is it is left open for a very long time. For example, in the case of Awesome. And then they're like, oh yeah, we might do this. Then people are like, hey, when is it going to happen? Hey, when's it going to happen? Hey, when's it going to happen? Hey, when's it going to happen? Eventually, it gets closed because they're like, you know what? If no one's going to work on it, then... There's nothing being done here, so let's just stop it now. While this situation may look bleak for many users and developers where there isn't like a suitable alternative like Swave i3, or you just feel like moving to a whole new environment like Hyperland, River, Sway even, so on and so forth, I would have said the situation was a lot worse prior to last year. Now, if I'm being honest, you could probably just ignore the problem until the end of time because I don't see the solution ever actually going away. That solution being 
X Wayland's Rootful mode. Now, I've talked about Rootful a ton of times. I am the only person who apparently talks about Rootful mode, but the main way that X Wayland runs is Rootless mode, where you have an application window, and that window is managed by your compositor. Rootful mode is more like Wine's desktop mode, where you get this entire desktop inside of a window. Now, that desktop could just take up your entire screen, and X Wayland is just a regular X11 server. It's built off of Xorg. So, you can also run a window manager in it. Now, normally when a window manager is run, it is the standard Xorg window manager. But you could run BSPWM inside of that. You could run Herbs Luft WM. You could run Ice WM. You could run anything you wanted inside of that window. Now, on a regular Wayland compositor, this is going to be a bit awkward because you have to like start at the compositor and then open this thing up and then like open it full screen. You could probably automate it, but there are special kinds of compositors that are made for single application use cases. Those being known as kiosk compositors, things like Cage for example, but Gnome also has a kiosk mode. This is generally intended for signage. Who says you have to use it for signage though? And if you're curious about how well this might work, I'm just running Awesome WM right here on top of Hyperland, and it's just in a window. Like, there's no issues with this at all, at least from what I can tell. There might be some more, like, long-term issues, but at least getting it working, it seems to function just fine. The most obvious issue is multi-monitor stuff. Running it on a single display works great. I don't know if there is a way to have multiple monitors all interacting with the same X Wayland instance. It might be possible, but it's going to be mainly hacks from what I can tell. There's not explicit multi-monitor support set up in the project yet. Makes sense why, because it's not really intended for that. It's intended to run an application. I would like to see it there, because then with that, you could legitimately keep an old X11 environment alive without any issue. But it is much better than nothing. And if you happen to be a laptop user and just use the laptop screen, or you're a single monitor enjoyer, you're not even going to notice a difference. So for you, it's actually totally fine. But that is just the stopgap for the user. It probably shouldn't be the end goal of the project, unless they never plan to get onto Wayland. Eventually, a Wayland version of the project should be the goal, which is understandably a really daunting task. Now, whilst there are psychos out there like Vaxry who are committing... I don't even know how many times a day, every single day... Once this day, I guess that was a quiet day, um, most people don't interact with a FOSS project like this. But I have noticed a bit of a problem with a lot of these small projects trying to port over to Wayland. Hyperland is a good example of how to actually do it well. All of these projects are probably going to be built with WL Roots. Maybe you go and use Smithy if you're a big fan of the Rust stuff, Maybe you go and use Louvre when that gets actually good. But most people, it's W or Roots. Now, Hyperland makes it very clear that this didn't just spawn out of nowhere. It's not like Vaxry just sat down with an empty project and said, okay, I'm going to write a Wayland compositor. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just going to wing it. If you go down to the bottom of the page, it makes the inspirations very clear. Obviously, WL Roots for making the library, but TinyWL for showing how to do stuff. Sway for showing how to do stuff the overkill way. Bavarium for showing how to do stuff the simple way. DWL for showing how to do stuff the hacky way. Wayfire for showing how to do some graphic stuff. Whilst Hyperland is not a direct fork of any of these projects, it has clearly taken inspiration from the work that came before it. There's no point sitting down with something like WL Roots and saying, okay, I'm going to re-implement dynamic tiling window managing, because 
That's a solved problem. People have done this before. People have done things like master stack layouts and all of these other like basic concepts for what a window manager is. So you could just go and rewrite it all from scratch, coming up with the ideas in your head, and maybe you'll have a better idea. But there's also those components already dealt with. So why don't you just take a look at that and then go from there. Like, this is the great power we have in the FOSS space, and I noticed that a lot of people trying to port to Wayland just don't make use of it. And it's not like the idea of a fork would be anything new to the window manager space. Do you know how many forks of DWM exist? Most notably, you have awesome WM, but go to the Arch Wiki page on window managers, search for DWM, and look at how many forks exist. Then there are other projects like XFWM, the XFCE window manager, which was a fork of FVWM. Then there is Enlightenment, a fork of another fork of FVWM. Then there's the desktop environment space where you have things like Cinnamon, a fork of GNOME 3. There are so many great projects out there that didn't start as a fork, but there are so many others that did, and whilst they might have started very similar right from the start, eventually after enough changes, they had their own identity, and a lot of people just forget that they were a fork at one point. Now in the Wayland space, even outside of things that are a port, I don't really see this happening that much, outside of projects that are intended to be a modified version of another. Like, they're a fork, but they're not meant to be their own special thing. Like, Sway FX to Sway, or Sway Fire to Wayfire. We haven't seen, at least to what I'm aware of, any compositors that are a direct fork of another. And I do hope that some of these projects that are stuck on X11 do try this out, because, look, a lot of what makes you a special window manager isn't how you handle windows. That stuff tends to be exactly the same. It's all of the additional stuff, like how you configure it, your window rules, maybe the way that you can modify the way the windows are being handled, but like those fundamental core concepts of it tiles and all of that sort of stuff. Maybe if you build off of something that is already there, it's going to make the process a lot easier. Now, it's not going to be a one-day effort. You're still going to have to learn something. You're still going to need to learn W roots. But it's a lot less work than starting completely from scratch. Even so, I do expect many to just not do anything. But at least that x and rootful option is there. Maybe I'll have to explore that more in another video and see just where I can really take that. Let me know if you want to see that. So... If you like the video, go like the video. And if you really like the video and you want to become one of these amazing people over here, check out the Patreon scribe li the scribe starly bearer pay link in the description down below. That's gonna be it for me, and soon, soon, Wayland will be your only option. You will have to embrace it. Bye. <laughs>